Now, this committee, this committee is going to try to find out the answer. Since you won't give it to us, since you won't hazard a guess, this committee is going to try to find out the answer. But in the meantime, we are going to make sure we keep focused on what we started our conversation here about, Mr. Starr, and that's the safety of our people who serve abroad. Now, there was one good thing that came out of the ARB, one good thing. They said we're going to have a best practices panel, and that best practices panel made 40 recommendations. And the most important ones, the one that Mr. Linick talked about earlier, the number one recommendation, frankly, the one that many of the other 39 hinge upon, says we need to create at the undersecretary level an undersecretary for diplomatic security. Is the State Department going to do that, Mr. Starr, at the undersecretary level? A decision has been made not to implement that. You're not going to do it. You know, how, how many undersecretaries are there at the State Department, Mr. Starr? I believe there's seven. I think there's six based on the chart you just gave us. Okay. Undersecretary for uh, Political Affairs, Undersecretary for Economic Growth and Energy and Environment, Undersecretary for Arms Control and International Security Affairs, Undersecretary for Management, Undersecretary for Civilian Security, Democracy and Human Rights, and the Undersecretary for Public Diplomacy and Public Affairs. And yet, we can't have an Undersecretary for the security of our people who risk their lives every day around this planet. You know, the Undersecretary for public diplomacy and public affairs, you know, one of part of the job description of that undersecretary to foster cultural exchange and in international broadcasting. Now, I'm not saying cultural exchange and in international broadcasting isn't important. All I'm saying is the safety of the people who serve at these 285 facilities should be just as important. And you guys say, nope, we're going to keep you way down here, Mr. Starr. In fact, it's your response. You're the one diplomatic security Assistant Secretary, as Ms. Brooks pointed out, you're way down the chart. Why don't you want to move from the kids' table to the adult table, Mr. Starr? Why don't you want to move on up to the undersecretary level? Did you make that case to Secretary Kerry and said, I think security is important enough, I should be at the undersecretary level? Did you make that case? The case that I made to the secretary was that in any instance that I needed to get to the secretary and the access that I needed with him the deputy secretaries or the assistant secretaries. I had to have the access necessary to do my job. Today, I have that access. Whether I'm an undersecretary or an assistant secretary, I have been the undersecretary general for safety and security at the United Nations, and that's a different organization. I can tell you that regardless of whether I'm the undersecretary or the assistant secretary, I, just know I have the control and the access that I, will, I need to fulfill my responsibilities. I will tell you this, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I, could, I will tell you this. I remember Thanksgiving was a lot easier to make the argument at the adult table than it was to try to do it from the kids' table. I'd rather be there. In fact, I'm, I'm not the one who thinks it's the greatest idea in the world. I think it's a great idea, but I'm not alone. Clear back in 1999, Secretary Albright said the same thing. She, saw, she thought we should have this at the undersecretary level. Todd Kyle and the best practices panel thought we should have it at the undersecretary level. And the guy sitting beside you thinks we need to elevate this to the highest level. So I guess we got two big questions that this committee needs to answer. Why in the world won't the State Department do what everyone knows needs to be done, elevate this position to the highest level that we can, make it equal with cultural exchange and international broadcasting, and then the big question, again, that I hope we get an answer to in this committee. Why were we there? Why were we there with these facts and these circumstances? That's a fundamental question that the American people want to know, and the people of these four, four individuals, the families of these four individuals who gave their lives, would like to know as well. With that, I yield back. Thank the gentleman from Ohio. The chair